Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this equation by using elimination. Now, this is a fun equation because we could, a lot of times, you know, students don't know, well, do I add the equations? Do I subtract the equations? And remember, we add the equations uh, when we have the same coefficient, but one is positive, one's negative. And we subtract the equations when we have the same coefficient of the same value, both positive or both negative. Well, in this case, and remember, we can always choose which variable we want to eliminate, the x or the y. Well, if we choose to eliminate the x's, they both have a 4, and they're both positive. So therefore, I'd want to subtract the equations. If we choose to eliminate the y variable, they both have the same absolute value, but one's positive, one negative. So we want to add the equations. Now, I always like adding, so I'm just going to decide to um, solve elimination by adding. So 4x plus 4x is 8x. Negative 3y plus 3y is 0y, which is pretty much non-existent equals 29 plus 35 equals 64. Therefore, I have the equation 8x is equal to 64 divided by 8 divided by 8. x equals 8. Now, to determine the value of y, all I simply need to do is plug this value into one of these equations. Um, I'll choose the top one. It just looks like, actually, you know what? Let's choose the bottom one. So 4 times 8 plus 3y equals 35. I'm sorry, 4 times x, right? Now again, we know what x is equal to. So you plug x, or plug the value of x, into one of the equations. You could do it for the other equation. 4 times 8 plus 3y equals 35. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 3y equals 35. Subtract 32, subtract 32. 3y equals 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 1. Therefore, the solution to this system of equation um, by using elimination is x equals 8, y equals 1. Thanks.